Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Rise of the Roberts. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our campaign where we are only allowed to use Psy Operatives, Templars and Sparks, plus of course Rookies. And our mission today is Operation Tomb Hammer. Uh, the difficulty easy might not be fully applicable if you're running it with only Rookies, but let's see, we definitely could require an Engineer and the first missions are pretty forgiving i would say so i'm not totally concerned about investing some time here i'm sorry noxus i un unfortunately promoted you so you're out we're taking rookie richter uh, with us sonar is going to have his chance to actually uh, get it deployed. So we got Halop, the DM, and Sonar. Let's see how long these rookies will last. And Hogbite is trying to, yeah, somewhat carry the run as per the usual. I'm expecting with easy difficulty that we're again having three packs. They're pretty much standard um, starting uh, lineup. So sectors and uh, Advent uh, Troopers plus Captains. Let's see if I was right, and let's see if we can protect the device. Alright, guess who just landed? The Rookie Squad. And we got ourselves... A nice mission to protect uh, the data uh, device down here. And we started on high ground again. It seems as if the game is pulling some punches this time around. Normally, you're not being awarded the luxury to continue to start on high ground. You know what? We're just going to speed this up a bit. Because protecting the device is actually a timed mission, believe it or not. It's just not a very noticeable timer. Matter of fact, if you're too slow, the device will just be destroyed. So there's an indirect timer with it. And if I'm not mistaken, we still had 50 points of damage that the device can take. Heading to that location. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Got a nice group of hostiles down there. Solid copy. Understood. Moving out. Hmm. That Templar can't really run far enough. I guess the question of the day is, are we going to engage nonetheless? It would be dangerous to do that. So the obvious answer for now is no. We're instead... Are ...going to take the advantage that we are actually on high ground here. and can move pretty far without even pulling uh, the enemy packs. Thankfully, the enemy just uh, indicated exactly where they are standing, which means we do not even need to move down. Templar moves into a nice position for a grenade and would be able to hit all three of them that could be a good starter bdm and sonar are overwatching and you know what I'm probably just going to actually do a full overwatch here i want to um, murder them anyways let's hope for the best uh, which means actually killing two of them at least. The captain is quite tanky, so he will take most of the overwatch shots. We killed one right off the bat, which is perfect. And the captain is in leather range as well. So might be able to kill the entire pack. Yep, captain took the shot. And there we go. Yeah, worked out like a charm.
And look at that. We got ourselves yet another pack. Fantastic. This is the moment in time where you need to be very careful not to pull the entire map. It might look like an innocent kind of standoff, but over here there is definitely, definitely another pack. Could go down here um, and flank but that would probably trigger sonar could uh, move all the way to here and have a pretty decent flanking position probably even without triggering the other pack And this here could be a kill. There we go, one down. Nice, we got pretty decent uh, chance to hit him from here. So might as well preserve our high ground. That's solid damage. I'm playing this one safe. To that Which means even if this here might destroy some loot, it's a 100% kill and I still, and it did not destroy any loot and it still has enough movement left over to actually kill the sector. And this should also not trigger if I've calculated it correctly. Thanks to melee vulnerability, that was an easy kill. The strength of the Templars ebbs and flows with the time right. of combat. As we focus our energy, our power increases and can be unleashed. Moving just a tiny bit back, not too much. He still needs to be close to the target. Moving. Understood. Moving out. Getting into a decent position. And we're sort of on the brink of triggering that sector. We march towards enlightenment. Our oppressors are near. That's exactly why you always want to blue move first, so that in case you're triggering like I just did, you have not necessarily lost anything. Let's start with uh, casting. Fortunately, not a kill. I was sincerely hoping that it might kill him. The DM is going to take full cover over here. Can't leave him in the open. And we're just going to overwatch. And overwatch. Which means any movement will be retaliated against. And there is the kill. Alright, I know it's the last pack, which means we can now go aggressive. Get ready for a surprise. 100% hit. 
and making it very uncomfortable for him to stand there. Charging in and hopefully setting up the kill. There we go, that was a fantastic kill. Good job, Hogbite. He even got himself a promotion. And look at that, that was a quick one. See, the early missions are always fun. You kind of have the upper hand if you know what you're doing and the enemies can't really do much. But this here is soon going to be less and less fun. All right, we're back and we landed. I'm going to do the ma uh, same mistake again. We're not promoting anyone. Some of the rookies are now seriously tired, but the only um, exception for promotion, of course, is Hogbite, who gets himself Amplify. Huh. The good abilities are locked for later. Yeah, we're definitely going for Perry. That's not even a question. And he unfortunately has Standard Combat Intelligence, so we gotta upgrade that in order to give him more points. On the upside, every XCOM ability point will probably flow into him for now. And we got an Alarim core plus a couple of corpses. Wonderful. Plus got ourselves an engineer. And we are completely ignoring bond requests at this point. Let's use the engineer for excavation. Because that is what we will need in order to get some more money. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. All good, Bradford. We can start clearing out space for new facilities, <laughs> Even more rookies. Well, that is fantastic. But instead of rookies, we're going to get scientists because we want to speed up uh, the research. Having an engineer and a scientist in the first month and that early in the first month is a pretty uh, good. Uh, RNG role for us on the strategic layer. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance. Got ourselves nanotech, and we got even an inspiration for biotech. That is great. Uh, so that's another day ish that's being safe uh, in order to research just a tiny bit faster with that additional scientist. We are even faster, so it's down to three days. Fantastic. We don't really need rookies, but so be it. In the absence of any other good alternative here, we're just going to go for it. Can't really make contact with West Africa for now anyways. And after a short period of time, we found out we got the Advent um, Officer's Corpse as an option, as well as Sector uh, Modular sniper rifles is a fantastic breakthrough, but this run will see exactly zero snipers, so it's not going to help us. Sectoid autopsy, on the other hand, could theoretically help us for psionics, so I like that idea. The advent of, uh, officer's autopsy will lead into the school check and proving grounds. So let's start with that maybe. Communications is not bad, but we're too low on Intel to actually capitalize on it. So let's go with the officer and then we're going for the communication. If you're rushing psionics, that's all fine and good, but you gotta also cover your bases a bit more. So look at that, we get another scientist, 102 Intel, which kind of changes the game a bit. And we got a ranger. Uh, the ranger is not usable for us really, but the scientist very much is usable. So that's going to be our next mission. Fantastic option. Really like it. Because with another scientist, we are going to speed up research quite a bit. I'm even contemplating, <laughs> that's probably a crazy idea, but I'm even contemplating if it would be worthwhile building a laboratory 
and since we're anyways kind of doing an odd run, maybe with the laboratory we will get a research advantage over time. So that might be worthwhile as a strategy. Laboratory costs a bit of uh, resources, so supplies, and we will we would be short on supplies at the beginning. Fair enough. At the same time, we would get quite a bit of a research boost and having two scientists that early, we could even uh, put them into the research lab and even expedite it fur uh, further. So that would count as if we had four scientists from the get go. And that would be pretty, pretty fast as a research. I mean, I'm not speed running it, but that's maybe an idea. So. I think a bit more about it. On the other hand, there's always a downside because it is delaying proving grounds. With proving grounds, we'll get our sparks later. So there's a dis uh, there is a clear disadvantage there. However, we can get weapon upgrades earlier, um, and rookies with magnetic weapons are arguably uh, deadly until end of months number three. So yeah, maybe that's the strategy. I'll think a little bit more about it. Uh, that was a pretty fast uh, one as well. First videos are only 15 uh, minutes long. Uh, but um, yeah, the next missions will be hopefully a bit longer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, uh, do me a solid and leave a like and a comment down below. That always helps to kind of promote the videos and give it a bit more attention. YouTube um, is the algorithm is looking for that. And for those of you who are unaware, a video that has a lot of comments and a lot of likes um, is perceived from the algorithm as one that is good. So that's why almost every YouTuber is asking for it. It doesn't cost you much time and you would do me a favor. Thank you and have a great evening. See you in the next video. Bye bye.